You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. In honor of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty Sultan Hamid V of Malaysia held a dinner banquet today at the National Palace in the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysian King and the Malaysian Prime Minister Hamid Najib Razak were at the forefront to receive His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King recorded a speech in the Senior Visitors Log in which he expressed pride in visiting Malaysia and meeting its king, hailing his contributions to developing the country and achieving safety and stability. He also expressed admiration in the advancement of Malaysia and the keenness on reconciling between religion and heritage and modern development to achieve harmony among the Malaysian people, wishing them further prosperity and progress. His Majesty then held a meeting with the Malaysian king in which he reviewed the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and they exchanged gifts. His Majesty then headed to the Royal Banquets Hall and the National Palace where a musical band played the two countries' national anthems and then the palace imam prayed to Allah Almighty to protect the two nations, their leaders and their people and preserve their safety and security. A number of Malaysian citizens presented a show of Malaysian folklore. After that, the Malaysian king delivered a speech in which he urged the private sectors of the two countries to enhance cooperation in the business and investment sectors, stating that the bilateral ties are not limited to business but extend to other fields, notably defense. He expressed pleasure in receiving His Majesty the King, wishing him abundant health and the people of Bahrain development and prosperity. His Majesty the King then delivered a speech in which he expressed appreciation to His Majesty the Malaysian King for the invitation, affirming that Bahrain cherishes Malaysia's steadfast policies of openness to the world, its championing of moderate values and the principles of coexistence and tolerance, and its fostering of cultural and religious tolerance and plurality. He expressed appreciation for Malaysia's important and active participation in the Islamic alliance combating the forces of terrorism and extremism. His Majesty stated that Bahrain greatly values the close relations with Malaysia and the long-standing friendship that has brought so many benefits over the years in fields such as trade and investment. He added that he looks forward to signing a number of agreements and memorandums. His Majesty congratulated the Malaysian King on his recent installation, thanking him and the Malaysian people for the warm welcome and generous hospitality. He invited the Malaysian King to visit Bahrain, wishing everyone success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was given a state welcome at the Parliament House at the start of his official visit to Malaysia. His Majesty the King was welcomed by Sultan Mohammed V, who hailed his visit to Malaysia. His Majesty was also welcomed by Malaysian Prime Minister Mohammed Najib Razak. The ceremony began with the national anthem of both countries, followed by a 21-gun salute in honor of His Majesty the King.
His Majesty the King greeted the Malaysian cabinet ministers and Arab ambassadors to Malaysia. Sultan Mohammed V shook hands with the members of the official delegation accompanying His Majesty the King. Following the state welcome, Sultan Mohammed V bid farewell to His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa visited the Malaysian Armed Forces headquarters and was accompanied by the Minister of Defense and Head of Mission of Honor Hisham ad din Hussein and was received by the Malaysian Chief of Defense Forces General Tan Sri Raja Muhammad Afendi bin Raja Muhammad Noor, Commander of the 10th Brigade, Commander of Ground Forces and a number of senior army commanders. The visit began with the national anthem of both countries.
Majesty the King then inspected the Guards of Honor. After that, a military presentation was played and included different military skills, combat competence of special forces and all participating forces, during which His Majesty was briefed on the tasks that were included in the parade. Of the Good Artist Chapel. This martial art is a combination of Sila 
Taekwondo and Karate, which involve either physical competition between two or more persons at a very short range. What we are showing in this demonstration, the defender is unarmed, protecting himself from the arm attacker. Finish guys, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we will witness quick reaction for conducting an attack. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, now may I have your attention to the open ground on the left of the square. The detachment of air defense artillery will provide protection prior to the establishment of artillery gun position. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, when the mission is successfully achieved, the troops will then be extracted from the area using spy technique. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the spiring is the fastest way of extracting the troops from enemy held territory and mostly used by enemy of special forces.
ladies and gentlemen, now we are presenting to you the Parachute Catholic Group, also known as PDG. A little bit the best British part of this capable of being deployed to the great people of the Croatian civil community, which is known as this Croatian. And together, it comes in our nature at any time, any moment, and anywhere. This Parachute Catholic Group is a company of enlightenment that is offering the different or enhancing the recognition. These kind of groups consist of a lot of power, complex support, and complex service support. Commander of the 10th Brigade presented his man's deal with the maroon hat of the Malaysian Special Forces and the Army Commander and Chief of Defense Forces also presented his man's the King with commemorative gifts. His Majesty the King then presented the Defense Minister with a commemorative gift on this occasion. After that, one of the officers prayed to Allah Almighty to bless His Majesty the King and the Kingdom of Bahrain and for more safety and security for the country and its people. His Majesty the King then recorded a statement to the Senior Visitors' Records in which he expressed pride in visiting the Malaysian Armed Forces and praised the efforts exerted in developing the Armed Forces in order to maintain the security and stability of the region in which it will contribute to combating terrorism on the regional and international levels. He wished for this visit to enhance bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields, especially the military fields. He wished Malaysia further security and stability. At the end of the presentation, the ceremony was concluded with the national anthems of both countries and the senior army commanders then bid farewell to His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Minister of Defense and Head of Mission of Honor Hisham al Din Hussein and a number of Malaysian Armed Forces commanders at his residence at the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur on the occasion of His Majesty's official visit to their country. His Majesty affirmed the strength of the cooperation ties between Bahrain and Malaysia, which is witnessing further progress in various fields, notably defense and military cooperation. His Majesty welcomed the Defense Minister and the Malaysian Army commanders, expressing aspiration to further solidify cooperation in defense and military 
military fields, as well as exchange experiences. His Majesty also talked briefly on his visit to Malaysia, expressing aspiration that it will enhance bilateral cooperation for the benefit of the two countries. He hailed Malaysia's role and its positive contributions to preserving regional and international safety and security and its cooperation in the Islamic military alliance to fight terrorism. The regional and international developments and issues of common interest had also been discussed. For his part, the Defence Minister commended His Majesty's visit that reflects the development of bilateral ties, expressing thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's keenness on enhancing these relations.